Yo, what's going on guys? It is your boy Kimbo here and it's time for another epic Bakugan deck profile video. So this one is number 13. Crazy to think. 13th deck profile. I've been on a roll making a lot of decks and such and yeah. And you already know when I get a chance to battle somebody, I'm going to. Just not really anybody where I live plays the game. But yeah, you know, hopefully I can get some people into it. But with that being said, it's time for a really, really awesome deck profile video. So I was talking about this one um I mentioned it a little bit in number 12. You can go and check that one out. Um, it was another diamond uh, deck setup. It was, it's really, really cool. You know, a really unique one. Um, and for this one, I went with a special theme. So, <laughs> you know, I'm a person who's just, like, obviously a goof and such. And, you know, I even make, like, SpongeBob references on, like, the regular. I don't know why. Like, whenever I can, I just do. Because it, it just happens, man. So I could just be like, is mayonnaise an instrument? No, Patrick. Mayonnaise is not an instrument. Horseradish is not an instrument either. And I don't know why I do such, like, a good Squidward impersonation. I, I, I don't know. Like, it's just something I figured out one day. But, yeah. Um, so, I was just like, you know what? I gotta do one that's just kind of a funny, like, kind of meme one a little bit. So, I made a Squidward deck. Because I was like, you know what? Why the heck not? So, it's just themed for, like, Squidward. <laughs> so, we got Krakelios in a bunch of different factions. So, yeah, we've got uh, Arlis Krakelios Ultra, Aquas Krakelios Ultra, and Ventus Krakelios Ultra. So, Ventus, the Aquas, the Arlis Squidward deck. Yeah, I guess that's what we'll call this. But, yeah, so for Krakelios Ultra and Arlis, you may reroll um, if you mess up, you know, the roll with it. B-Power 600 damage of 2, not bad. And also comes with a Magic Shield and a Fist, so it's not bad at all. Then we got Krakalios Ultra here in Aquas B power 500 damage of one. If it lands on a fist, it gets plus 200. So it has a fist and then a regular shield. And then last but not least, we have uh, Ventus Krakalios Ultra. Mainly to help out like the Aquas one and also it goes with uh, the Arliss one because the Arliss comes with a fist as well. So B power 600 damage of two and double fist. So yeah, you know, it's also like kind of a yeah Squidward fist deck. To, yeah <laughs> just figure out the name as i go along too but yeah man so i guess i'll show you guys the cores first of all put the cards back there and for the cores so for this fist it's plus 150 and plus one pretty good one and then we got the shield which if it's aqua or Ventus, plus 400 um then we got a magic shield plus 600 definite game changer right there um then another fist plus 150 and plus one and then plus 100 Bs and Aquas or Ventus gets plus 3 for the damage. So it works for those two really well. And even if Krakalios lands on it, it still gets the bonus. Um, and then another one of those. So yeah, man, overall, like, pretty diverse cores. You know, I wanted something that worked well for each Bakugan. And also, I mean, there's also a Magic Shield in there and, uh, you know, the regular shield and such. And some stuff to help out uh, Arliss Krakalios. But Arliss Krakalios already has a pretty good B power level. But, I mean, if it lands on that, you're talking like 1,200. You're talking still like 1,100 and another 1,200. So, right out of the gate, that's pretty dang good. <laughs> if they do happen to land on that Magic Shield. But, yeah. So, here are all the cards. Uh, Hyper Krakalios Ultra. B power 600. Damage of 9. When you play, give a Bakugan minus 4. And then got two of those. Um, I don't think I shuffled this one too, too much. N normally, I like shuffle the decks. I know some people get triggered because they're like, yo, you need to sort out the decks. Um, I, I usually don't because I just don't want to shuffle them <laughs> like a bunch of times to get them back like re, you know, like reshuffled. But I think this one, I don't think I, like, I actually shuffled it. So, yeah. So, you guys will get your wish for this video <laughs> anyways. But Titan Crack Kalios Ultra, B power of 1100, damage of 5. You can reroll if you mess up. But if you win with it, you can choose one of the effects. Energize the top two cards of your deck uncharged or draw two cards. So, yeah, I mean, getting two energy when it wins after five, that's pretty useful. Especially like an Ventus like that works with Ventus Crack Kalios Ultra too. Big time. Then we got Hyper Crack Kalios Ultra for Aquas. B power of 700, damage of 4. Lands on a fist, gets plus 300. And when you play it, you give a Bakugan on plus two for the damage and plus two for the frost strike so that's pretty useful because the frost strike obviously makes it where your opponent has to get more uh energy in order to use their uh flip cards you know which that's one crazy thing about the frost strike like it could be really really useful if you get enough of it man it's it's nuts but yeah so there's that and i guess i'll just set them around i guess instead of putting them out this like you know I think these ones might be shuffled, maybe. But yeah, uh, Razor Claws plus two. Uh, and if you have the most energy cards with the turbo plus seven, then we get a freeze flip card. And then we got photosynthesis, energize it uncharged. Put those over there. And then uh, repel destruction. 
uh, flip card right there, then Rock Riser flip card. And I almost knocked over my tripod with my knee, but it's all good. I saved it, man. I saved that like a boss, too. <laughs> but lost at sea. You flip a coin. If it's heads, you stop the attack. Then deep freeze, another flip card. Got counter aggression, another one. And then we've got tides, uh, plus 200. And if you played another card this turn, plus 400. So a lot of, like, low energy cards in here so like you know you can play, you know you can play multiple cards in the turn so you can get the flow effect but also at the same time getting energy out and having the turbo effect too so you know two different effects just depending on like how your first draw is but yeah then we got another tides right there the tropic blast minus 200 and with the turbo it gets minus 400 liquid strike plus three for the frost strike be a little bit of a troll uh then greater water boost for plus 100 another one right there got hurricane winds plus 300 bees and you can play an action card that costs four energy or less for free which that's definitely useful man you know four energy or less then you can get it out for free like yeah and this type of deck really really useful um then we got wave slash plus 300 and if you played another card uh plus 1000 then another liquid strike got another wave slash piercing scream for minus 400 Ice Barrier for plus 400. Another Ice Barrier. Got Dark Waters for plus 200, and you can reroll, so if you mess up. Um, then Stone Blade plus 2, and if your Bakugan is holding a fist, you can energize it on charge, so free energy with that. You know, got two of those. Got Solitude plus 1,000 if you have only one open Bakugan. Unstoppable plus 600, and if it's holding a fist, you get plus 2 for the Frost Strike. Then we got Toxify for minus 3. Got Claw Cutter for plus 4. Toxify, got another one, got another Stone Blade, Ventus Shield, minus 200 and minus 2, and then last but not least, well, two left, I thought there was, I thought China was the last one, but of course, China, uh, when you open a Bakugan, you can energize a card from your hand on charge, which that's really useful, and that's every turn, and then a Ruin, so you can re-energize, uh, recharge your energy cards, which is really, really useful, but yeah, man, so the beginning part of it was kind of organized, it was kind of an organized, uh, deck but obviously i'll just be shuffling it afterwards that's the main reason why like i just you know just don't put them out like that because i think it takes like a little bit more time but now i just shuffle it and i don't want to reshuffle because yeah but anyways man that is the deck profile video obviously just got to show off the bakugan last but not least so rls crack helios right there then we got ventus crack helios and they say ultra obviously um i don't know well i don't even know if they'd be able to like fit everything into like a core crack helios if, if they did that would be really really cool um but i don't know it's not looking like too likely right now because yeah you know we're not just seeing like core crack helios but still crack helios is really awesome then last but not least the aquas one now this one is like the actual like kind of squidward one and it acts like squidward because it's just the pain because <laughs> like on, on the side it won't stay closed that's the only bad thing about it like it doesn't want to close or anything like the clamp on it's just weird and it doesn't want to close. Some Crack Helios I've heard have had issues like that. And this one does. I don't know if I should get a new one. Or just like I'll just go with it. And just try to be careful with it. Whenever I roll it out. You know. It'll be a little tricky. Especially if it like opens part way while rolling. It'll be like what? So I might just have to like straight roll it or something. But yeah man. It would suck if I had to get another one. But yeah guys. That is the deck profile. Number 13 man. So <laughs> I had to make like a kind of funny one. You know. For obviously like quite aware but it's all good man um i had a lot of fun with this one and i look forward to using this deck and you know if it inspired people to make this same sort of deck like definitely do it because <laughs> it's just it, it works well together and obviously like, just the theme of like squidward like you know with crack Helios. um overall i think it's gonna be a pretty good deck a lot of different scenarios with it and it can cover a lot of different things but hope you guys enjoyed this epic deck profile video if you did be sure to slice that like button down below let me know how i did if you're new to my channel definitely be sure to subscribe for some epic epic content because i upload daily and if you haven't already be sure to ring that bell by my channel name to be notified whenever i upload a video so yeah guys until next time it is your boy kimbo signing off see you guys later thanks for watching till then stay awesome and baku god bro i'm up out of here so a little bonus clip i'm probably just gonna put this at the end of one of the deck profile videos but yeah got a package from amazon so i got some more ultra pro boxes because i actually have like been running out because i've been using them all for the decks that i've been making and yeah like i think i have like 13 of them actually i have like 12 yeah i had a dozen of them and <laughs> they're all used well one of the decks that i just made uh you know is gonna go in that and then gotta get one for for the squidward deck so i'll probably just put this at the end of like the squidward one <laughs> since i said it but yeah i got five of them obviously different colors and these cost me like like with tax like eight bucks you know i got them off amazon so that's what i normally like put all my you know 
like my decks in. So I got I just put the cores right there, then I put the cards, and then obviously the character cards for the Bakugan and the Bakugan on the front. And they usually fit really, really well. Like almost perfectly. Some of them are a little small, but yeah, these ones look like they'll fit. But yeah, so I definitely recommend just getting these boxes if you want to like if you want to store your decks and such. But yeah, because I know, like I said, I was gonna make a lot of decks and you know just been getting a lot of these boxes, and that's why I also like I made that little idea at the beginning of the year, like you know they made like a kind of like a box, except it's not for like just the Bakugan. It fits like the six cores. It fits fits three Bakugan. It fits the forty cards. Like you know, like a box like that. And each like if they sold that for like maybe a cheaper price or something. Um, like maybe 10 bucks or something. And then they include like a mystery Bakugan with it. That would be really, really cool. Like some Bakugan that probably haven't come out yet. Like that would be really, really cool. At first I said like maybe like Arliss Bakugan and then every like one in 20 packs or something is Diamond. Which that would still be cool. Like if they did that. Like it's just a mystery Bakugan that hasn't come out yet. That would be kind of cool. Like and that's the way that you get it. And then like maybe one in every like 10 or 20 would be a Diamond. Which that would still be an awesome idea. But yeah, man. So I figured I'd just show this off, and that is a spider. Okay. <laughs> like, I, I can imagine a lot of people just being here, be like, "Yeah, a spider." And I'm like, "Eh." But yeah. Anyways, just wanted to put that in there. Got some more boxes.